All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we will all learn multiple methods to find the percent of a number and solve real-world problems involving percent of a number. First, we're going to take a look at an example, and this is something that you would see on a, uh, very often in everyday life involving shopping. You purchase a new pair of shoes. If they are on sale for 10% off, how much will it cost if the original price is $44? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to solve that problem. Here's another example we have first. To practice the skills we're developing, Madison wanted to save money on a Halloween costume, so she found the costume with a 25% discount online. If the normal price is $20, what would the sale price be? In this case, we may consider setting up a double number line to help illustrate the percent of the number compared to the cost. We know that 100% of the cost is $20. We can use the relationship between percents and the relationship between the costs to find some of the other answers. 50% is related to 100% because it's half as much. So 100% divided by 2 equals 50%. So in order to find 50% the value, we take $20 divided by 2 and we get $10. Now if you know the relationship between 50% and 25%, again we're dividing by 2, then we're going to do the same thing to the cost. $10 divided by 2 equals $5. So 25% is actually equal to $5. 0% of course equals $0. And when we're solving this problem, you can simply add together 25% plus 50% and the dollar values to get 75% and its corresponding value of $15. Now if she saved 25%, then technically she is paying for 75%. And 75% of these shoes would end up costing $15. Now Madison lives in Indiana and Indiana has a 7% sales tax. So what is her total cost after tax? Well first we need to convert 7% into a fraction. And since percent means per 100, we just write it as 7 per 100. Then we say this as 7 hundredths. So we write it as a decimal, 7 hundredths. Since we're finding 7% of her sale price, of tells us to multiply. And when we multiply, we get a dollar and five cents. But we have to recognize that this actually stands for the cost of taxes. We still need to add in the original discounted price. When we add those together, we end up with $16.05 for Madison's on sale Halloween costume. Let's look at that first problem again. You purchase a new pair of shoes. If they are on sale for 10% off, how much will it cost if the original price is $44? Well, if you understand and know the 10% rule, 10% of $44 can be found by taking 10% times 44. But another way to do it is to simply move the decimal one place to the left, and that will give us the value of 10%. When we move it one place to the left, that tells us 10% of $44 is $4.40. Next we have to subtract that value from the original value in order to figure out how much we're actually paying. When we set up our subtraction problem, don't forget to line up your decimals and add the zeros. Next, we can start subtracting. In this case, we have to borrow. The 4 becomes a 3, and the, that is equal to 10 dimes. When we subtract at this point, we also realize we have to borrow again. Our final answer is $39.60. So using the 10% rule can really save you time. 